Okay, so we've looked at some examples of how to establish uh, total historical cost in purchased assets. Now we're going to look at a little example for a basket purchase. It says Lipglick Company has purchased all the assets of Loser Incorporated upon its bankruptcy. The assets included a building valued at $500,000 machinery and equipment valued at $330,000, land appraised at $150,000, and furniture and fixtures with a value of $20,000. Lipglick paid $680,000 for all these assets. At what amount should each asset be recorded on Lipglick's balance sheet? Well, one thing I would do want to point out, whether we're saying that the building is valued at or something is appraised at, these are the same thing. So what we need to do is we need to, um, we need to figure out uh, how much the total value is and then we're, of these assets, and then we're going to divide it by what we paid. So we've got $500,000 for the building, and we've got $330,000 for the machinery and equipment, we have $150,000 for the uh, land, and then we have furniture and fixtures valued at $1 million. So if we take our $680,000 purchase price and we divide it by the $1 million assessed value or market value, we come up with a decimal of 0.68. So let's go ahead and show that. We paid $680,000. Okay. And so now what we need to do is we need to take all of these assets. We've got a building. We've got uh, machinery and equipment. We have, let's see, what else do we have? We have land, and we have furniture and fixtures. And we're going to plot the market value. And I do realize this is a very, very easy example. I get that. But we're going to look at an easy example, and then maybe on the test you can do a harder one. So what a deal, right? 330000 uh, land was what? See, 150, and the furniture was 20,000, and we're going to multiply each one of these. Kind of close this off here by 0 0.68, 0 0.68, 0 0.68, 0 0.68. And if we do that, let's see here, we're going to multiply that by 500,000 for our first item, and that's going to give us a balance sheet value of $340,000 for the building. Looking at our machinery and equipment, we're going to have a balance sheet value of $224,400. Looking at our land, we're going to put it on our balance sheet at 102000 And finally, we're going to look at the furniture and fixtures, $20,000, $13,600. Now, each one of these numbers should be our actual answers, okay? But we want to check our math real quick and make sure that all of these come up to the 680,000. So 13.6 plus, we're going to work backwards, 102 plus 
224,400. plus 340,000 for the building equals 680,000. So all we're doing here is we're just making sure that we actually come up with $680,000. These are our four answers. Okay.